Hey everyone, it's me, Future Rep Paradise, and today's video is going to be showing you how to clean a hamster cage. So this is the reality of Cashew's cage. Just to let you know, a full clean out should be done every once a month, but there should be spot cleaning done in between as well. It's important not to disinfect everything every week because it can actually lower a hamster's immune system if done too frequently. So you will need a bag for the mess, pet disinfectant or vinegar and water solution to clean the cage with, a sponge or dishcloth to wipe down the cage with. I find a sponge works better just because it's a little bit easier at getting off anything stuck on the plastic, but I don't have any in so I've used a dishcloth as an example. You'll also need a towel to dry the cage with, or you could use kitchen roll, and your bedding, and this includes sleeping bedding as well. I use Fitch bedding and the details are here if you are interested. I buy it from fitchrecycling.co.uk website. For other equipment, this is optional, but a place for your hamster while you're cleaning the cage. So a play box or carrier is great. It's also great to have some toys in there so it gives them something to do for the meantime in case they decide not to sleep. I also recommend at least having some kind of hideout or tunnel so they feel more safe and have the option to sleep. And I suggest putting some of their bedding in there so they can sleep in comfort. And if you're like me and like to clean everything in the bathtub, then you'll need that too. And a shower to rinse off the disinfectant from the supplies. So if you do decide to take your hamster out when cleaning, then you'll want to slowly wake them up just by taking some of their bedding that's surrounding their nest and then let them decide to come out in their own time. Don't forcefully take them out as that can be stressful on them. It's like someone picking you up in the middle of the night from your comfy spot. You wouldn't be very happy, so I doubt your hamster is going to be. When they approach and make their way out, gently cup them from underneath and place them in the play area or carrier. So now you'll need to disassemble the cage. For this, take your bag and anything that has mess on it and empty that into the bag. pan and brush to scoop the bedding into it and it should leave you with a clear base like this. Something I like to do when cleaning is organise the naturals and the plastics and ceramics into separate piles. So the naturals pile are the things I'm not going to wash and then all the cage parts, so plastics and ceramics, I put to wash. So I bring everything into the bathroom to clean everything so this is where your pet disinfectant comes in hand. So now you can go ahead and put everything in the bathtub all together, so I will do that now. And once everything is in, you can get spraying. Quick tip for cleaning a water bottle. So once you've sprayed inside the bottle and spout, I find a cotton bud is a perfect size for getting down the spout of a bottle. So I like to go down the spout and it just gets any excess bacteria down there you normally wouldn't be able to get to. So I definitely recommend trying this with your bottles and it will help keep the spouts cleaner and less grittier. So once everything is sprayed, leave for about 5 minutes to soak. Then something I like to do is rinse everything off. Now you don't have to do this. I know most hamster owners will normally wipe down the supplies without water. But I personally like to because I find that the supplies often end up smelling quite strongly of disinfectant and I fear that it could easily be breathed in from the hamster so I prefer not to risk it and rinse off the spray. If you do want to know how to tell if the odours and residue are still there then a great thing to do is spray inside a bowl and then fill the bowl with water and you should be able to see bubbles left over. They are basically the leftover residue from the disinfectant but when given a rinse you will notice that the water runs clear and it means the residue and the odours have gone. And don't forget to clean your bathtub at the end. 
So once everything is either rinsed or wiped down, you will need a towel or kitchen roll to dry the supplies with. So let's get drying. everything is dry you'll want to place your base down and then scoop out your bedding and pour that into the cage then spread out the bedding evenly now for the fun part setting up the cage now I do have a video showing you how to set up your hamster's cage so if you're unsure of how to do that then I suggest checking it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. about that water bottle make sure to fill it up and of course put it onto your cage bars and that's the cage done now you can get your hamster and put them in their clean cage so that's the video on how to clean a hamster's cage I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful any comments or questions leave them down below if you like our videos and want to see more then go subscribe and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye!